Hello everyone, welcome again to UK. We're at Diggerland in Kent. We're here for Dig VR, the upcoming game for MetaQuest coming out in October. We're gonna to speak to the developers, we're gonna play the game, we're gonna have a go on some cool machines. So let's get on with today's video. Diggerland in Strood is so much fun. I've been there with my children many, many times. It's a great way for kids of all ages to get your hands on these fantastic construction machines. But first and foremost, we're here for a game called Dig VR. And we went in, we met the team. The most important member of the team is Leah, the chocolate Labrador. She is beautiful. After some refreshments and an introduction from the team, it was time to head over and try Dig VR for the very first time. After some basic instructions from Ben, one of the main developers of the game, it was time to start digging. Unfortunately, there wasn't a way for us to capture the gameplay that we were seeing inside the headset. So just to give you an idea of what I was seeing, I've put the gameplay trailer on the screen. The graphics are lovely. There's a real chosen art style to the look of the game. It's not concentrating on a sort of realistic look. It's more of a cartoony, edgy look, but it absolutely works. There's still enough detail in the diggers for you to really get immersed in the fact that you're sitting inside a digger. All the controls animate and work as you would expect, and it is a really immersive experience. The controls took me a while to get comfortable with them and I think that's going to be part of the challenge with the game. You know, it's easy to control but it's hard to master. There's a little bit of muscle memory that you're going to need to play a few times before you can really get to grips with your digger. Being available on the MetaQuest means that you can play this game anywhere, whether you're lounging on the sofa, sitting in the garden or indeed on a device like this such as the Roto VR. In fact, Dig VR is going to be the first game that's fully compatible with the Roto VR, and I will be making a separate video for the device very soon. For today's demo, I was only able to try the tutorial levels, but it really does feel like there's a game here. There's a full campaign, there's a lot of customization, there's fun game modes, there's even multiplayer. Interestingly, this is developed by the same team that's bringing us the upcoming Train Sim VR experience to be published by Dovetail. So we're in really safe hands. They clearly know what they're doing. So after enjoying the game, let's go and talk to the developers. So we've got Ben and Chris here. Tell me what you do with regards to Dig VR. Uh, yeah, so I'm lead design um, on Dig VR from Just Said Water. We're the developers. Yep. Uh, I'm lead programmer and uh, yeah, worked on the terrain technology and stuff like that. A fantastic game, as you saw in the video, we've just had a go at it. I yeah. thought it was brilliant from the moment I sat in there. And VR is just great for this immersion, isn't it? But yeah. I think it was just so so immersive that obviously you hold the actual controls and, you know, it's very, very immersive. How did it all come around? Where's the idea for Dig VR? Um, so uh, we've obviously worked with Wired Productions on this yeah. game. Yeah. Um, and Leo, who's their managing director, um, he kind of originally had this concept of diggers in VR yeah. and that was kind of where he, his idea stopped but then he needed someone to fill in the gaps so yeah. we kind of came along with an actual game idea and how to implement it um, and then we went to Diggerland in yeah. Castleford yep. um, and had a look at the diggers there played and how on the, the controls machines. played with them because yeah. we wanted to get it was important for us to get that authentic feel yeah, the, the way that the levers were yeah. and yeah. so on yeah. yeah so we wanted getting the safety lever the power button the levers make sure it was authentic but then we wanted to build this more arcadey mm. user friendly game around it so it wasn't yeah. a dry sim but it was more fun basically it took me by surprise actually because the art style is cartoon yes. no not cartoony it's not set in the absolute realism no, no. but the controls are yeah so do you want to feel was, that so one so there well, was we, we deliberately went for a, a relatively simplistic art style because we knew that with the uh, dynamic terrain that you can dig up, yeah. uh, we were going to need a little bit of headroom uh, to, to be able to um, simulate that properly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we went for a, a simpler art style to facilitate that. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's actually the first game on a VR headset that has a dynamic terrain. So we've okay. actually broken new ground, if yeah. you would excuse the pun. <laughs> of, uh, of, of You're digging yourself yeah, a hole yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah. So we're the first game that's done that. So again, yeah. we were... We, we like Chris says we knew we would struggle with um, kind of the hardware limitations mm, yeah. to to get that tech to work so mm. we knew we'd have to make it more stylized the art style yeah. Um, yeah but it also lends itself to the like the chill vibe yeah of definitely just, yeah, yeah just digging up 
so it's, it's not it's I not could very do, high I could do it for hours yeah, you know? yeah. So it's not overwhelming is it yeah. I think the outsell helps the game not be overwhelming yes, and you're concentrating yeah. on yeah. the controls and yeah. digging yeah. it's relatively low pressure yes. yeah. there's no time yeah. limit no I noticed really there was no like timer yeah. 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 it's very like p power wash yeah. power wash yeah. sim was oh, a God, big yeah, inspiration that, yeah. for, oh, okay, for yeah. dig yeah. Um, that kind of whole cosy chilled vibe yeah that's that's what we were going for yeah yeah and also notice that you can press the thumbsticks together and control it on the controller you don't permanently have to be doing yeah, that yeah, which yeah. is a lot of arm fatigue yeah. if you're having yeah. to stretch forwards and backwards all the time yeah. so uh, the, the the digger control levers are quite comfortable but yeah. reaching forwards and backwards yes. yeah. can get tiring so we gave you a, a a more arcade option. Yeah, no, it's a, it's yeah. a good option. Good for to accessibility have. for people who yeah. just want to yes. sit on the sofa and have yeah. a more chilled right. experience yeah. again. Yeah, you don't need to sit in the chair. You could just lay back on the sofa. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you said that you're the first VR game to have this dynamic ground. Yeah. What, what's the challenge there? Why are you the first? Uh, well, it's it's quite detailed the the terrain. So yeah. it, it's uh, you can uh, carve into the terrain and it will uh, deform down to about a one inch resolution. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, it, it is. It is actually like a 2D height field, yeah. but uh, it's got uh, dynamic flow so that when you dump the dirt, it all pours down the sides yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. and will fall back into a trench if you don't dump yep. it far enough away. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's been really fun working on that mm. and, and playing around with it. I think the main challenge is the hardware, right? Because the hardware... Yeah. Essentially, the Quest device is 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 a mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. So, yeah. so, so we haven't got the the CPU or the GPU to do this complex stuff again. So mm, that was yeah. the main challenge was actually getting it working, like getting because yeah. it is very taxing on the hardware yeah, to do the imagine, yeah. dumping yeah. Of, of the terrain. Yeah, yeah. It, and is it only available on the Quest? Currently, that's our primary hardware. Okay. Yes, yeah. it's the Quest. Um, never say never for anything yeah. else, but. <laughs> Quests currently, yeah. Okay, and obviously on the demo, I was in quite a small digger. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about other diggers or machinery that sure you might encounter? Oh, you want me to do it? You go, go yeah, on. Yeah, go on. So, <laughs> yeah, so you start uh, on the tutorial. You're in kind of like the small digger. Yeah. Um, in the game, we've actually got four sizes. You go from oh. a mini micro to yep. the small you were in, a medium and a large. So we go all the way up to kind of like the big kind of 40, 30 ton ones. Mm. Um, and you have your own business, and you can fully customize them. So the skins and paint jobs, oh, okay. and um, we've got 28 missions in there with roughly about eight to nine hours of gameplay okay. like a long campaign yeah. um, multiplayer there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of content the in the game is fantastic yeah. Yeah. tell me about the multiplayer how does that actually yeah work? so it's it's um, two player co-op multiplayer yeah um, I'll let you f do you want to go on about the modes, there, about the modes there's uh, there's some fun little mini games yeah. uh, there's there's the gauntlet which is basically like a, a, a race using like all of the core digging skills okay. of uh, like Digging trenches and well, who digs it first? Yes, exactly. yeah, yeah, the fastest, yeah. Yeah. like gladiators, yeah. but in diggers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then there's some more fun stuff. With, with there's a, like a ball pit where you're scooping up balls, yeah. and uh, there's ho yeah. oh yeah, hook a duck. Um, hook -a -duck. Just, yeah. just like fun. Any things. online leaderboards for stuff like that? So we've got there's leaderboards. All of the um, kind of mini games in there, the single player ones have leaderboards, so you can yeah. compete against friends. Yeah. Uh, the multiplayer is not leaderboard based, but it's obviously yeah. it's just you against a friend, so yeah. it's who yeah. can yeah. who can be the best. Yeah, and imagine um, and you can both be on the sofa. For just doing exactly, that. and we've exactly. also got um, like a sandpit mode that's single player oh, and yes. multiplayer, yeah. so you can both yeah. just jump into this kind of open space and just play and mess yeah. around mm. with all what the you tools. want with all the tool heads. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, talking about single player mode, yes, you do the tutorial that I've just done there. Yeah. Then, how does the game open up? How does it keep people interested? So, um, from there, you go into a, a warehouse, yeah. and, and it's kind of a family warehouse, and they're saying, Right, you've, you've kind of got the basics, we think you know you can do this on your own, yeah. And you go to, so it's set in um, the picturesque town of Diglinton. Diglinton, yeah, in yeah, Digshire. Yeah. Digshire. Uh, yeah, so it's a very kind of British themed based game. Yeah. Um, we've gone with that British humour. Yeah. And uh, you build your business up in this town and you unlock new diggers and customizations. You do a variety of jobs, some of the more absurd. So we mm. wanted to make sure it wasn't just digging holes. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's uh, levels where you have to cut down trees and oh, put them right. on to the back of trailers. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're doing digging out ponds, and then there's other things that you just wouldn't do with a digger, but oh, we right. do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for Graspenbury Festival. Graspenbury Festival's yeah. in there, which is obviously yeah. you know a pun there. Another one we love our puns. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And you're moving portaloos round with the diggers and oh, stuff, and okay. placing them round. So. Yeah. There's a, there's just a lot of um, variety. We have all the different tool heads. It's not just yeah. buckets. Yeah, I noticed digging. that in the. Uh, you have you your the breaker. breaker yeah. We've got yeah. um, a grabber, circular saw, a yeah. trimmer for cutting grass and hedges. Oh, brilliant! Uh, yeah. The auger for doing holes for yeah. big posts and things. So. Yeah. 
there's there's a lot of variety of gameplay in there, mm. um, and like I said, not just digging to try yeah. and keep it. Um, yeah, obviously interesting. Yeah, yeah interesting and keep. Although it is dig VR. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, obviously, once you've done these missions with about eight hours of gameplay, yeah. what's left for the player after that? So obviously, you've got um, for single player, you've got the sandbox mode yeah. where you can just go in and, and dig. Yeah. Um, and then also, all of the campaign is graded. Mm. So every level you do in the campaign, you well, you yeah. can play in two modes: graded or zen. Zen is more chilled, you won't be penalised, yep. graded, you've got to be spot on with mm. your digging and your movement, and if you mess up, you're obviously going to want to go back and try and get the top grade to yep. unlock all the skins and things mm. we've got in the game, so there's yeah. a lot of replayability. We haven't talked about treasure mode. Treasure mode. Let's there's talk about treasure mode. mode. <laughs> so you go for treasure mode, <laughs> go ahead. Treasure mode is uh, one where you have to find uh, objects that are buried, buried in a... Yeah. A big sand pit. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of different objects to find uh, depending on the day. Yeah. So uh, there's if you want to co collect the full set, you'll have to like uh, keep play it coming on back and play it yeah, yeah, clever, just yeah. to find them all. Yeah, yeah, that's clever. Yeah, and then multiplayer, which is endless and sandbox. Yeah. So you yeah. can just yeah. kind of there's a lot, like say a lot of a lot of gameplay and mm. a lot yeah. of var var variation in modes as well. The other thing that grabbed me is is that you could put your kid in this yep. and they would go absolutely crazy for it. But you could also feel like it's a bit of a training module as well. Oh, 100%. You know, for really, people to really get that muscle memory for how it actually works. Is, uh, have you been approached for stuff like that? Or so we've, have you we've, thought of stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, we've talked to a couple of different companies, and obviously we're willing to work with any companies that want to yeah. use the game for training or branding. Mm. For uh, yeah. We'd love to do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, interestingly, like I said, we went to Castleford mm. uh, to go on those diggers, and, and we'd, we'd made the prototype of the game prior to that. And oh, we'd, right. we'd just read up online how the controls work yeah. and then yeah. when we jumped into the real diggers at Castleford you, the you, operators were yeah. like have you been in a real digger before and yeah. we were like no just in our in our game yeah. and we were yeah. operating the diggers yeah. so that just shows I think that yeah. the muscle memory mm. from the VR works yeah. in the real ones yeah. one of the one of the surprising things from uh, actually trying the real diggers though was that when we did our prototype we put a lot of feedback in so there's a lot of resistance to digging the yeah. earth yeah. Yeah. and when we tried the real diggers no resistance yeah. at all <laughs> Like those butter, machines they've got the strength, yeah, yeah. they're incredibly powerful yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I suppose from a video game aspect you still yeah, have to introduce a little we need the it. feedback to yeah. try to sustain the illusion yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. well I thought it was fantastic so well, glad thank, you enjoyed thanks it. for chatting to me yeah, thank you thanks for playing it. it thank, thank you. you very much after lunch, it was time to get our hands on the real machines, and it's interesting the crossover between video games and real life. I just finished on the video game, and I was using that muscle memory that I just learned to a very similarly controlled machine, and it worked absolutely perfectly. Mini games are the theme of the day, even in real life at Diggerland. This is really cool. Hook a duck, and you can see it here. I managed to hook a duck. I also managed to put it back in the water. That was definitely not a fluke. Before I get too carried away, let's have a chat with Leo, who's the MD of Wide Productions. So we've got Leo here. Tell me your involvement with Dig VR. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so I'm the managing director of Wide. Okay. So we're the publisher. You're the publisher, yeah. Yeah, we're the publisher. Yeah. Um, the actual concept of Dig VR was yeah. actually mine. It, it kind of okay. was, it was a bit of a brain drop, but a bit of a light bulb moment yeah. when I was um, basically stuck in Italy during COVID. Okay. So I had a choice of actually coming back to England on the last flight out of Italy yeah. or staying in Italy and, and just literally spending months over there okay. even though I didn't know it was going to be months yeah. um, I looked outside and I was in the countryside yeah. and I had my father there and my father was sick and I thought you know what I'm gonna, I'd rather spend some time here yeah. than come yeah. back to England <laughs> Absolutely, and yeah. actually sit in a, a, a flat and be quarantined yeah. so I decided to stay yeah. um, and after a couple of weeks of being quite bored, yeah. um, and I live in the, my, my father's house is in a, a farm, okay. so house in the middle and a bit of land all around. Yeah. And there was this long wall, and over the years it had become warped. Yeah. So every day I'm going outside and I'm smoking and I'm looking at this wall and it's yeah. annoying the hell out of me. Yeah. So I asked my cousin, I said, listen, have you got, can I, what can I use to knock down this wall? I yeah. want to do something. And he said, well, I've only got a tractor. Yeah. So I used the tractor, smashed into it a couple of times, a couple of bricks fell down, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, okay, this isn't really the right tool for the job, no. do you know what I mean? So we hired a digger, Yeah. and so the guy turns up, rocks up, drops a digger off, gives us the keys, and says, off you go. And I'd never been on a digger before, no. so I'm like trying to figure out the controls, you know, you know, oh yeah, okay, so yeah. getting it right one time, messing up the next time, getting it right one time, getting it messing up the next time. 
but managed to start knocking hmm. down this wall. Yeah. And after about half an hour in this digger, I kind of started imagining myself with a VR headset. Right. And, the, and the two controls, if you think about it, they're the same, you only use two, two yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, in VR, you only use two hands and you can control the whole digger. Yeah. So I pictured the, being in VR with these two controllers. And it kind of made total sense. So I go out of the digger and I'm saying to my cousin in a kind of excited sort of way, there's a game. I've got there's an a, idea. There's a game, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, and then throughout the whole sort of, I was, I was in Italy for out of two years, 15 oh, right. months. Yeah. And so the digger became a feature. Yeah. You know, I, did, I dug a patio, I dug, oh, right. you know, just the, digging everything. Just you know, little projects. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah. you're stuck and, and yeah. there's things I wanted to do, quality of life improvements for yeah. my dad. And, yeah make his life a little bit better. So there was all these little projects that we started, but you always needed a digger. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say I actually use the digger all the time because no. I was rubbish, really. <laughs> um, but we've got professional diggers in, and when you see them actually working... It's an it, extension of their hands, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely yeah, an yeah, extension yeah. of their arms. Yeah. So um, I came back to England um, March 22, March mm. 22, and I spoke to the Just Add Water team. Yeah. And I said, lads, I've got an idea. And I, I went through the whole experience. And they're like, oh, we're really good at VR. Yeah. You know, we'll, we I actually buy into your, what you're saying. Mm. You know, let's, let's work together on this project. Okay. So, yeah, that's where it started. So that yeah. was probably March, April 2022, nearly two and a half years later. Yeah. We're at a stage where we're, we're just about to launch. Yeah. So it's been, a, it's been a really good journey. Beautiful thing was they, they actually got the idea. They, yes, they, yeah, they, yeah, they understood it. They understood yeah, it. Know, yeah. They, yeah. they brought their VR skills. Yep. Um, they translated it. They translated it. And yeah. the important thing was to, the, the mission from day one was to, to perfectly recreate a, a, a feeling of being on a digger. So yeah. you need, that was important. Mm. So if you've ever and been on a digger. I think you've digger, done that as well. It, it feels yeah, like, yeah. 100%, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's the first time I got hold of the controllers, went forward, did the twist. Oh, yeah, brilliant. it was really good, yeah. Oh, brilliant. It was surprisingly good, yeah. It, it, the idea was to make you feel like you've, if you've been on a digger, this perfectly recreates that yeah. feeling. If yeah. you've never been on a digger, this is what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. But then it had to be made into a game. Yeah, exactly. How so, do you make a game out of that? Yeah. But you so, have. But we have, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I think it's a testament to the you know, to the team and, and the passion of everyone involved. And obviously, it's, it's a deeply personal project. Yeah. Um, the, the, I, 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 yeah the idea was born in Italy, yeah. but it was made in England. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And it's a nice combination. Yeah. And sadly, my dad didn't quite make it. Oh. To, okay. to see the idea yeah. through to fruition. Yeah, that's why you've included that in the trailer, haven't you? Um, included in the trailer. trailer. Yeah, 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 that's brilliant. Well yeah. Spied. Yeah, yeah, but there's the also games are emotional, aren't they? And you've you've put that emotion into this game now. He, he was behind me, yeah. um, saying, I'm, I, "I don't want to swear on yeah. camera," yeah. but he was he was saying, <laughs> "What the beep are you doing, boy?" Yeah. As I'm messing up, <laughs> knocking down a bad, badly knocking down a wall and carving yeah. up. Yeah. You know, and he's like, because he, he's still my dad, right? So, yeah. <laughs> and, and he was still sort of, sort of, you know, I had him in my ear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now he was he was there for, and, and a lot of the use of the digger was because I wanted to do things for him mm. and improve his life. That's really good. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the idea came from there. Yeah, it no, it's made. great that it's got a real connection in yeah. in the real world, as yeah. it were. Yeah. How long did it take once you come back and yeah. you said, I've got this idea? How yeah. long was the development process? Um, yeah, you know, sometimes things happen weirdly yeah and um it was really quick because okay. I'd, I'd met i met um, one of the just had water team yeah um it must be march um i then went to gdc and i met meta hmm. and i pitched them the idea and and the thing about it um it's, it's a really easy sell because mm. if you've been on a digger yeah, you, yeah. you just get that vibe yeah and and the connection between father and son yeah whether it's you and your father or your, your father and and you yeah whoever's yeah. been on the digger yeah it's quite a, it's a real feeling. Yeah, no, I understand, and, yeah. And, yeah. And so the instant, it's an instant connection. So yeah. people were just like, yeah, I get it. Mm. I get it. If you can do it, I can get it. So, yeah. so they, they, they backed us from oh, day that's one. That's good. Yeah. So we went through a bit of a process mm. to, um, you know, work out the contractuals with Meta yeah. um, and the contractuals with the team. And I think we started, um, I want to say August, September. Okay. Actually started development. So oh, right. really from, from idea and talking to people. Yeah. So getting the teams and getting all our eggs in one basket mm. and getting the funding sorting out and getting you know everything yeah. laid out in the design, I think it was about five months. Oh, that's um, brilliant. It doesn't have. It's not normal. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not no, it just know, come together. It came together. Yeah, it came together. Yeah. A little bit of fate, and and also there was a lot of there was a very clear passion and direction, mm. which you can hear that when you speak to the team. Yeah, they love the project. Yeah, they loved it. And, yeah, and we've worked yeah. really well together. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been really nice. Um, and 
really pleased that we kind of... Do you think them. it could expand in the future or is it an enclosed game in its in itself? Is there something you could add? Is yeah, there DLC? Lots. Yeah, <laughs> there's, lots we can, there's lots of directions we can go. Yeah. Um, there are, I mean... I mean, it's a machine, right? So we can go down the branded route and bring in yeah, yeah. Um, a whole host of mm. JCB, Caterpillar, great, yeah. you know, Bobcat, whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's lots more environments. There's lots yeah. more digging. We were limited a little bit by the the processing power of the Meta, yeah, Meta we, Quest. Yeah, we, we chatted to that about it, the, the developer, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That, that kind of limited some of the things we could have done. Mm. But if perhaps we went to a different format, there might be less um, of those kind of limitations. PlayStation VR 2 would be perfect it, for this. It would be perfect. Absolutely would, perfect. Yeah. And, yeah. and so, But there are things we can do with it, and there, yeah. there are things that we um, are talking about. Awesome. Um, because I think it needs, I mean, it's, I think it's, if you look at things like construction simulator yeah. or yeah. farming simulator, mm. there is a long life. Oh, and, God, yeah. You know, if people play it and, and see it for what it is and appreciate it for what it is yeah, yeah. You know, we'll continue to support yeah. it for a long yeah, time cool. well I wish you all the luck with it thanks thank Leo thank you very much thank right, you. nice talking to you so there we have it a very touching story for a true inspiration for a father and son story turned into a video game a huge thank you to all the team from DigVR, both Wide Productions and Just Add Water, the developers, for really looking after me on the day, and we actually had a lot of fun. The game itself is out on 24th of October. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. DigVR. More than a game.